What if I told you that one of the greatest mysteries of the universe could finally be proved? It's just been a year since the James Webb Telescope was launched into space, and it has already made some of the most groundbreaking discoveries, and taken some of the most breathtaking images that have left scientists completely baffled. In the midst of these mind-blowing photos and groundbreaking discoveries, however, was a claim that seemed really puzzling that the telescope had spotted galaxies in the very young universe. There were headlines all over the place that the galaxies were so massive and appeared so early that the very basis of Big Bang Theory was shattered by the discovery made by James Webb. While everyone went crazy over the idea that Big Bang was contradicted by the new findings, the claims that the James Webb Telescope broke the Big Bang Theory of cosmology is just not simply true. And we are going to find out how. We all are a tiny part of a large universe, and we still don't know for sure what is out there, how it all came together, and how different planets, galaxies, and stars were formed. But we do have a theory about the creation of the cosmos. One of the theories developed by scientists is the Big Bang Theory, which explains the formation of the universe and everything that exists within its vastness. Scientists, astronomers, and cosmologists now agree that the universe as we know it was born in a tremendous explosion that created not only the majority of matter, but also physical laws that control the expansion of the universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, approximately 13.8 billion years ago, all of the current and past matter was created at the same moment. At that point, everything had been compressed into a small ball of infinite density and immense heat called the singularity. The cosmos as we know it began when the singularity subtly began expanding. It's not the only popular theory of how the universe came to be today, but it's the one most people believe in. Do you believe in the Big Bang Theory? Like this video if you do. There are many other popular theories including the steady state theory and the oscillating universe theory that account for the expansion of the universe and many other phenomena, in addition to explaining the genesis of all known matter, the laws of physics, and the large-scale structure of the universe. But Big Bang is the most accepted one so far. So the researchers went over the data of the distant galaxies collected by James Webb, and they concluded it aligned perfectly with the Big Bang model and our understanding of the cosmos. If you guys think that the existence of distant galaxies is a problem, well, it isn't. The current Big Bang formulation, Lambda CDM cosmology, predicts the existence of galaxies even in the young universe. That's because a few billion years ago, neither galaxies nor stars existed. When our universe was much smaller and much denser than it is today, everything used to be considerably more uniform, with only random tiny differences in density. However, as the time progressed, the density discrepancies grew, with the denser pockets pulling more matter into them. These pockets eventually gave birth to the first stars, which in turn developed into the first galaxies over the course of hundreds of millions of years. A web was developed to find out more about the first galaxies, which makes finding galaxies in the extremely young universe a point in favor of the Big Bang Theory and not against it. But then, what is the problem? Apparently, the estimated masses of these galaxies seem to have caused the tension. Several have masses of above 10 raised to the power of 10 solar masses, making them enormous. Obviously, that's not as big as the Milky Way, but in the context of the early cosmos, it's astounding. The high masses estimated by the researchers who discovered these galaxies are in conflict with the several hypotheses of galactic creation and evolution. At the other end of the spectrum, the researchers suggested that no galaxy formation scenario within the Lambda CDM framework could produce such massive galaxies in such a short amount of time. It looked like the Big Bang Theory was threatened by the masses of the galaxies in the early universe, so a team of researchers used Webb to identify galaxies with a much more precise and reliable method of determining distance, and they found a sample of four galaxies. And they were just as far away as the previously confirmed galaxies, but their distances were confirmed and precise. Nonetheless, the masses of these galaxies were only about 10 raised to the power of 8 and 10 raised to the power of 9 solar masses. This begs the question, does Lambda CDM allow these smaller galaxies to exist at such a young age in the universe's history? Or does the tension remain? What do you guys think? 
Let's see if we can get some good guesses as we reply to every single comment within the first 24 hours. Scientists have played around with many models, but building galaxies is not an easy job, and many different factors come into interplay. For now, the researchers say that the appearance of galaxies with 10 raised to power of 8 solar masses in the early universe was no sweat for Lambda CDM, and the Big Bang is safe for now. Science is all about keeping an open mind and nothing is set in stone. There could be many things you believed as a child, but as you grew up, you realized things could change with new observations and discoveries, and any piece of information could be rendered obsolete. There is still hope that astronomers will confirm the distance to a massive galaxy in the early universe that might completely fundamentally alter our current understanding of galaxy formation and perhaps the Lambda CDM cosmological model. But all we have to do is wait and see how things unfold, as James Webb is on a mission to discover the unexpected. If you want to know how scientists came up with the idea of James Webb and how it transformed astronomy, you should check out this video or else you will be missing out on something really valuable. See you guys tomorrow at the same time!